Yeah. Yo, what's going on? How y'all doing? Hopefully everybody is chilling out there, doing fine, relaxing, all that good stuff. Hope everything is going well on your, your end. Uh, it's almost, as of recording this video, we less than an hour uh, to kick off first uh, football game of the NFL 2023 season. Yes, I am a football fan. I'm New York everything. You know what I'm saying? Giants number one, Bills number two, Jets number three. Um, hopefully we all have, a, hopefully they all have great years. You know what I'm saying? Coming off last weekend's college football week, uh, coach prime had a really big outing with his team and he was the talk of the week. Uh, I'm going to touch on a couple quick videos. I wanted to keep it in, in, in theme with the, with, uh, the NFL. So we don't end with football. So, but, um, Coach Prime has a great message right now, you know, and, you know, we're going to get into some of what he's saying and a lot of reason why I think people need to uh, get behind him. Now, don't midway through the season, jump on the bandwagon, you know what I'm saying? But get behind him for real because he, uh, he really has these kids' best interests at heart from what I can see and from what I've read. He really has their best interests at heart. And, um, you know, allowing so many of those guys from Jackson State to come over to Colorado with him is showing that he really wants to get them the exposure to the next level. Because some coaches will just leave players or they'll just bring two or three players, you know. But let's touch on what he got to say. Let's check it out. Let's check him out. When you see a, a confident black man sitting up here talking his talk, walking his walk, coaching 75% African-Americans in the locker room, that's kind of threatening. Oh, they don't like that. Guess what? We're going to consistently do what we do. Because I'm here and ain't going nowhere. Talk I'm that about shit. to get comfortable in a minute. Talk that, bro. I'm about to get comfortable in a minute. Because guess, guess what? It makes people. You know, and prayers up for him and his team this year. Like, I really hope that they do the damn thing. They already beat uh, last year's pretty much second place uh, in college football. I want to say that they lost to Alabama in the finals. Don't quote me on that. I know they made the playoffs. But I want to say they lost to Alabama in the finals and they just beat them like that from a team from a school that was one and 11 last year. Let's continue. This is his son, uh, Shador. Not, nothing really. The only, I'll say don't. I like the dog in him for coming from uh, one double A to the one A and it's just no fear. You know, I like that about him. And I think that that's uh, Coach Prime's attitude and it's really going through this team, you know. And shout out to the uh, alumni and all the boosters and the fan base that raised all that money to get Coach Prime there because they didn't have to do that. They went above and beyond fundraising to make sure that he was there and make sure that he was there comfortably. You know what I'm saying? The only difference between FCS and this level is the D-line get off bl blocks if you try to scramble up faster. Everything else, you got good players, you got good DBs, good receivers, everything like that. You just have more of those on the, on the field at once. You got to think, everybody on the field ain't going first round. A lot of people on the field may not get drafted. So don't let people fear names. I don't fear names because I really don't care. But that's the biggest thing. When you fear names and, and you let, that's half the battle. You already losing. Nothing. nothing. Yo, I like that mentality, man. He said, regardless, you know what I'm saying? You could play on the field and on the stage with anybody. Like me right now, I could take on all your favorite YouTubers. All of them. You feel me? If you got that heart, that fight, that 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 uh ambition, that will to just keep on working and working and working. I work, yeah. You know, I might not be the best right now, but it is what it is. I ain't step up to my. I'm still at Jackson State. Uh, Coach Coach Prime ain't put me in the portal yet. Hey, yo, Coach, put me in the portal. All right, next one. This one was pretty cool. Isn't it wild that the New York Jets are, like, kind of good now? Yeah, they are. Isn't it like a good? For those of you who don't watch football, the New York Jets for the past decade have been garbage. It's hard being a New York fan, man. It has been hard being a fan. For the Giants, I'm a, I'm a Giants first. My pops is a Giants fan. I'm a Giants fan. <clears throat> I love that Eli Manning is the only quarterback to beat Tom Brady twice in the Tom Brady era. You know what I mean, I saw a little commercial Eli uh, Brady put out talking about uh, Peyton's little brother beat him in the in the, in the Super Bowl. You know. 
But yeah, man, us New York fans, we've had to put up with being trash. Remember, even uh, with Favre, the Jets weren't good. You know, and the Jets had a couple seasons where they were winless and way at the bottom. You know, the Patriots were running over every year. The Dolphins, the Bills had their run. But the Jets just, you know, since the name it days, yo. Yeah, I mean, they've had a couple. Rex Ryan had a couple good runs. Don't get me wrong. They made the AFC championships with Sanchez and shit like that. But all we remember about that era is the butt fumble. <laughs> Bad team. Robert Sala. And Robert Sala is the first Arab head coach in the NFL, and he's the first Muslim head coach in the NFL. Hello, and motherfucker. I think that it is beautiful that it took an Arab Muslim to change the trajectory. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but shout out to him for that joke, yo. And then, um, like I said, football season's back here. It's amongst us. And the meme speaks for itself. This is going to be uh, every American home come this Sunday. All right, I'm not going to play too much. But anyway, that's all I got to say. Um, I just wanted to take a quick look at these videos in the in the spirit of football season. It's finally here. We've, we've waited since last since early in the year february to now so let's have a, a safe season hopefully and pray all those players college fo fo from from peewee to to the pros have a safe season you know what i'm saying all of them you know um you know are able to go out there and display their talents but stay safe stay stay blessed you know, and on that note, yeah, um, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all let me know if y'all don't even care for football. If y'all think football should not even be called football. If you're somewhere around the world and getting a note and getting a uh, check of this video. If you stuck along this far in the video, hit the like, comment, sub up button, uh, support up, you know, drop a comment, join the conversation. And uh, I really ain't got too much more to say on it. Like I said, hopefully, everybody, you know, and uh, shout out Coach Prime, what he's doing over there. Let's see Colorado continue doing what they're doing. And, uh, Wavy out.